Well, Marcus, it was a fantastic result against Leicester Riders uh, at the weekend. I imagine the mood was very good in camp after that. Yeah, the mood's been like awesome. Obviously, we can't be complacent about it, but making history like that and also um, preceding that, um, getting to the B to the getting to the cup final, um, obviously, like. We are, we are buzzing about it. Um, we can't be complacent. Uh, if we beat um, the Royals on Friday, then we'll be, we'll be able to get become three and three in the regular season. And so that would be obviously like we also want to push to get to the um, to the um, BBL championship playoffs. So like that's another one of our ambitions. So one game at a time and getting to 500 is just like the first step there. So was that result against Leicester a bit of a, a monkey off the bat considering you know the, the 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 history between the two clubs yeah definitely I mean obviously I came like obviously we've we've had 17 matches for them I, I came on board uh last like last season basically um so I obviously don't have like the same like history that like players who are older than me have but like just knowing that and I think that was enough for the guys and I think we all like bought into like the program that our coaches set up for us for that thought that preceding week and um once we got there we like we took the hits. Um, I was like Leicester at some point in the third quarter. They actually like, got up, and so I like how I love how our team like came together and actually brought that. We didn't let them run away with it. We brought it back, got the lead, and then we started pushing away for us the game. And so I th I love that we were able to adapt. And so like yeah, it is a monkey off our back, but also it's like well we have to treat every team that's like we have to, obviously we respect every team, but we also know that when we come out to play, once we get the lead, we have to put them away. And so I think that's been our motto now. So. And is, as you say, London City Royals uh, at home, back in the league uh, on Friday. What's going to be the key to, to coming out on top? Because it's going to be the, the fifth time you guys have played each other this season. Yeah, I, I, I feel like we've played them like every, like almost every other week. So um, obviously, like we know each other really well. Um, but I think as long as we just like stick to the game plan that we have set up for this year, um, we obviously like know the tendencies. We have to make sure we make sure that we react and like we can't be, we, we can't, like, you know, we have to be proactive about like how we handle them. We can't react to like their plays. We have to know them and stop them running and then as long as we let as long as we run our offense play our defense the way that we know that we can then I think we're gonna get the result that we want and get to that 500 to stat so I imagine you know their players very well is it more of a uh, tactical adjustments that need making rather than looking into personnel oh uh, yeah I think it's honestly I think it's I don't think it's not really gonna be like a tactic I think it's gonna be about, about who wants it more so because at this point after playing a team five ten like five times there's like not going to be that many. That can, there can be that many adjustments that you can make after that. Um, it's going to be who wants them more because if you know if you know that the screen's coming, what are you going to do? Because you can't if you can't, if you're going to be lazy, if you're going to slack off, then like you're going to get punished for it on both ways for, for us and them. So whoever wants more, I think is going to come out on top, and I believe that we we want it more. So. And a big uh, sold-out crowd expected. How much of an impact does that have in, in terms of them being that sixth man? No, it's great. Um, literally, like, since last season, like, every year was, like, every home game was sold out, and we've done the same thing this year. So I think it just shows the Bristol Flyers plan is, like, really behind us and supports us, and so I think that gives us extra drive because, obviously, like, the teams go on runs, and so, like, have, when, their team, when your fans are supporting you, knowing that you can get through this, and then we're all buying to the, buying to the idea so that we can get through anything, so... Where, regardless of what happens and knowing that they, we have that support is huge and so it's been, they've always been great to us.